Hey guys, it's uh, Ken again. I'm bringing you another game review of the Clone Wars matches we played. This time on Monday, 25th of November. Uh, the first one is against KDX. I forgot the name of the second team, but we lost uh, the second game. I already skipped to uh, minute 7.50, we, where we are starting our attack. Uh, as we can see, T already moved up quite far. Uh, without being spotted or without having too much problems and the TDs covering the base haven't had too much problems either um, what I would like to discuss in this game uh, we personally I think it's a very tiny remark but uh, it's something which I'm gonna question to you guys as well here you can see me driving through and water and zombie Jay as well, Rob as well, Steve as well, we all stopped there to take shots at them. Um, this caused a, a, a tiny stop um, and if Jay didn't move through he wouldn't have been killed. So if we all would have moved through then we'd all be safe here against these riches, safe from Marty. And we also, we might have taken a few shots in, but we'd be safer. So that's a tiny remark maybe, for the next time. Um, I'm gonna fast forward a little bit. I bounce a shot, I'm gonna take a shot by Artie, there you go. Um... I start driving through again and I forget about the ice tree here behind me. Stupid shot I take here. Um, but uh, I see that he's being gonna be picked off, get one shot off and start driving immediately again. Because these riches in front of me, they are RT safe and that's where I want to go to. I want to get RT safe. At this point... Uh, T is warning us that the uh, uh, T the TDs are warning us that they are through on the base, and T and uh, Jim are gonna go back to defend the flag. In the meanwhile, I order uh, Walter and Rick to follow me. We're gonna cap the base, and I instruct Nicholas, Zombie, and Steve there to go around for the TDs who are going to appear on our right side there. I take another shot by Artie here and I do make a mistake here as you will see it's only a tiny one but it can have big consequences as you will see in the next game. Here um, I destroy a first little building or object, second and third. This is enough for Artie to have an idea of where I am. Um, so I decide to get close into cover, closer into cover, and as you can see artillery lands a shot right behind me. It uh, could have cost me my life, but in the meanwhile, good job on uh, taking out the DDs, and Jim and T in the meantime has have also made it back to defend the base. So, game played up to the next one hello guys we're already in the second replay and uh, in this game the second game it was against Norwegian troll uh, unfortunately we lost it we could have had it uh, but we're in the game at this point the uh, zombie and water are already shouting out that they are spotted this tells us that they've got a 3090 in the middle uh, doing some aggressive spotting and uh, unfortunately Rob chooses a, a position here in the open and he's gonna get shot at by artillery there you go 420 HP gun um, so guys keep in mind if uh, teammates already shout, shout out that they are spotted don't go stand still in the open like uh, Rob did there, just get a safe position from Marty and uh, 
keep it safe if you want because that was uh, unnecessary HP loss which could have been easily prevented keep it in mind um, it's gonna happen well uh, it's not gonna happen again but uh, Petstick is gonna is going to land a few nice shots here on their IS3s uh, one of them uh, he's going to cripple it for all of his, his HP and uh, another one for 20% of his HP. I'm waiting for the shot to come. Should land now. There you go. 749. Um, and I'm gonna fast forward it again a bit. To about minute 7. Um... I asked the replay from Bjarne yesterday and uh, on the replay it's clearly visible that Conqueror uh, moves back a bit at a certain point and destroys a building behind him in the process. This uh, makes uh, him, there you go, you see him moving just a little, he destroys a building behind him and that causes him to uh, draw the attention from the enemy artillery and he's gonna get shot at fairly soon and he's also gonna get killed by the artillery now immediately after uh, Conqueror is gonna lose his HP Bjarne and uh, Conqueror start moving backwards uh, uncontrolled and they destroy a lot of objects in the process and that's gonna cost them a lot of HP um, that could cost them a lot of HP um, if could have costed him a lot of HP if he didn't start the attack uh, as we are going to do now so uh, there you go Conqueror gets taken out and as I said a few uh, in the game in the replay before uh, to drive through to there I don't do it on this replay because I see that I've got uh, 35 meters behind me and zombie um, who are the closest, closest followers. So I stop here, wait for the others to poke together, all poke together. I try to be a shield here but uh, it's not gonna endure because I thought I'd, I was a um, very nice hold down here. But uh, artillery shoots me. And I lose 791 HP in one hit. So I move back, try to get out safe. In the meanwhile, Petsex is going to kill their artillery, uh, counter their RT. There you go. And from now on, a uh, very nice play by our guys on getting uh, the guns taken out here. Also, good job by Jay. T, uh, Rick, Rob and Jim to get those three isolated tanks there and here I'm making my last mistake and that's all I wrote for this game um, pop, 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 pop. just waiting yeah here I'm gonna skip to Steve unfortunately unfortunately Steve's gonna get tracked here in the open and he's gonna lose a lot of HP as is visible um, at this point I'm saying to all the ice trees to get to the other side um, I should have corrected myself here I should have uh, organized it more because Pompo still has got 68% of his life Walter still has got 43% of his life if we all would have be would have moved together then fair enough Steve and Zombie might have been taken out but uh, Rick and Rob Roy would have made it across um, by now going one well almost one by one what is gonna get shot at pump pumps gonna get shot at and we all end up there on the other side on one shot and that's something which uh, Rick's gonna get nailed. I think it's Rick. Yeah, Rick's. Unfortunately, I skip here to be honest. Rick got nailed. And I'm gonna skip back to Steve very soon. 
can't do anything about this. Yeah, there you go. But it's just in time here, in my own opinion. Water and zombies should have waited, grouped up. Uh, zombie makes the smart decision on not to poke, but water is already moving back up. While if they would have waited, uh, pump would have been also into place and we would have had three shots on the uh, uh, Ferdinand. He would have been killed and that would have been all he wrote. Also, Rob got uh, killed here by artillery. It's not, I didn't show it in the video, but uh, he got tracked out in the open. I don't know if he still had his repair kit. I think he hadn't. But um, just a an, an, uh, little mark. If you've still got your repair kit as, at this point, use it for your tracks. Because there's no use in getting tracked in the open in the middle of nowhere where you're in one shot for artillery. And of course artillery likes uh, easy targets and that's how Rob unfortunately got killed here so Walter, Zombie and Pom didn't poke together Walter got killed fair enough Zombie pokes Pom pokes as well but uh, keep the timer in the eyes um, at this point the Ferdinand is already reloaded so we lose three seconds four five six seconds before steve gets his shot off um, this is uh half the reload time of a Ferdinand so if you would have grouped up here together poked again not poked again but if you would have poked all three together so water pump and zombie all together then the Ferdinand would have been dead, killed uh, unfortunately well unfortunately well played by their TDs here uh, putting high pressure on us because they know that they can RDPM us now they both need one shot into us and we're dead um, zombie got, gets picked out bit of tunnel vision but nothing yeah well unfortunately I skipped it here already uh, unwilling to uh, T misses his shot at Ferdinand I think he hits his uh, gun mantlet and uh, he's gonna get sh uh, killed by there Ferdinand what would have been a possibility here for T is to go around for G1 H1 and uh, get the enemy artillery taken down. Sorry, uh, this would have given a given us time for uh, Bjarne to get into position and for Petstex to get his shots down on them because we're still in, in my opinion, we're still in the advantage here, but we're gonna lose the advantage here. Fair enough, Bjarne kills one, but uh, at this point, with only two minutes to go, uh, we're gonna lose also a few minutes very soon. Yeah, one minute fifty, one thirty. This is uh, on this point. If you want to cut the game out, uh, we're already too late, and we're gonna lose a few more. 30 seconds more. Bad Stacks lands a very good shot there on the enemy Ferdinand. Kills him. Um, extremely, well, extremely very good shot. Uh, Bad Stacks, really well done. Um, but with only 30 seconds to go in a slow TD, we've got uh, not a lot of chances. We don't have uh, the time. Maybe if we would have had a, a faster tank, then we would have uh, had it here. Uh, maybe if we played it out differently with the Ferdinand on F2, we would have had it. It's uh, all ifs, if ifs. Um, I hope this replay um, 
also learn that you guys again learned from it uh, so did I um, I made a few mistakes here as well I pointed them out and I'm gonna try to draw my lessons from it I hope you guys will do it as well um, same principle it's not to to be hard for anyone it's just uh, a general general notices um, so we can all learn from these things that will be it um, if you've got any notes to or any suggestions please uh, post them on the forum and uh, I'll try to keep them in notice for the next review see you later chaps